This will work on Windows 11 and Windows 10. So for the first step, you want to get into this screen. I'll show you two ways on how to get here. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. If you can sign into Windows like me, I'm on Windows right now. Then you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And then once you're on this, next to advanced startup, you want to click on restart now. And then click on restart now again. This will then take us into that screen. If you cannot sign into Windows for the second way, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and it will take you into this screen. So you want to turn off your computer from the power button, turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to quickly turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and it will take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And then once we're here, we have some things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you do not see start to prepare, you want to click on see recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on start to prepare. Now it's going to diagnose your PC, see if this works for you. If that did not work, that's fine. We're going to click on advanced options. And now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you have a restore point already created on your computer, then you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point. Hopefully that will fix your problem. If you don't have one, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And now once we're here, we're going to type in some commands. On my screen, there may be some errors. You just want to ignore all of the errors that you see on my screen. But in your case, you want to type in all the commands that you see, and then it should be working for you. So for the first command, you want to type in your Windows Drive letter, and then colon. So for me, it's going to be C colon. For most of you guys, it will also be C colon. But if it's a different letter for you, your Windows Drive, you want to type in that letter, and then colon. So now you want to click on enter. And now you want to type in cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config. Click on enter. And now you want to type in md space backup free. Click on enter. And now you want to type in copy space star dot star space backup. Click on enter. And now you want to type in cd space regback. Click on enter. And now you want to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot. Click on enter. And now you want to type in A. Click on enter. And now you want to type in exit. Click on enter again. Now you just want to continue to Windows. See if that works for you. And now for the third method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then uninstall updates. We're going to uninstall the latest feature update. Click on this. Click on uninstall feature update. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then click on Restart. And then once we're here, you want to click on either 4 or F4 on your keyboard, which will then enable safe mode. So click on 4 or F4. And then once we're here, you just want to simply restart your computer. Hopefully this will fix your problem. And now for the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot. And now we have reset this PC right here. If you have your files backed up, then you want to go and remove everything. If you don't, you can go and keep my files. It's up to you though what you want to go with, and then just reset your computer.